Alright, did you guys ever notice how enormously big our pool table is? Yeah, I know, it's pretty cool. They have drinks here. We have a fucking XCOM has its arcade machine, a drinks machine, a vending machine. Um, everything is the brand drinks, though. It's a pretty cool fucking lounge, though. I like this place. They have some books and binders and stuff and coffee. Mm. Alright, well, welcome back to XCOM. We're doing a covert operation mission. Um, already d failed this like four times, not even joking. This is fucking tough as hell. We look forward to seeing your progress. So I think I know what I'm doing wrong, and that is I need a highly mobile team. So we're actually bringing along, this is really fucking random, but we're bringing along a lot of fucking uh, laser weapons here. And we're gonna just try and just, just wipe the fo floor with exalt. Um, can't bring the sniper, can't bring the gunner. They're too fucking slow, they don't do enough damage. This is how we're gonna do it. I do not have another idea for this, because I, I... I just... It, this we is really early on. Site. We have beam weapons, though, so there's We've that. We've picked up another Exalt cell operating out of the UK. Strike One will need to ensure our operative has an opportunity to finish securing the intel. Alright, let's launch her. I, I don't even know if this is possible without safe scumming. I really don't. Like, this is the my least favorite part of X, uh, XCOM Long War, I think. Because it's just dumb as hell, <laughs> sometimes. Exalt forces spooked one of our field operatives who was attempting to recover new intelligence by hacking an Exalt comm relay. Strike one is going in to ensure the operative is covered while decrypting the data from the remaining relays. We have to keep that operative alive if we're going to recover the remaining intel. Okay, this is one of the luckiest rolls I've ever gotten for this fucking thing. Uh, we are going to just save this and I'm going to save scum the fuck out of this, I don't care. I am so frustrated with this fucking mission. I, I can't believe I rolled something like this. So, the first move I'm gonna make is gonna be a bold one. We're gonna go right to this. Cause I'm- I'm gonna fucking hack that thing and get the fuck out. Cause I'm- t I'm tired of this. Our operative is in position near a comm relay. We just need to activate it to retrieve the missing data. Okay. Okay, so they're inside there, so... Here's my plan. Here's my plan. We're not gonna go in there. We're gonna instead start to approach here to basically cover her... I- I really don't want to see what's inside that place. Okay. We're gonna cover her, basically, her retreat. I'm rolling. I I'm thinking, actually, we should just fucking just sprint the fuck up here, actually. This way, this way we can actually cover that door in the next turn. And that's actually exactly what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna basically just run away. Exalts are everywhere, kids. We've got new contacts inbound in Strike One's position, Commander. We finally have a visual confirmation of Exalt's operatives in the field, and from the looks of them, Exalt is working quickly to integrate alien genetic material into their troops. Until we know the extent of their capabilities, I would advise extreme caution. Excellent. We've decrypted a piece of the data. And it looks like Exalt communications were temporarily disrupted by the hack. Now we just need to find the remaining relays. Did I not? I, I, can't I click this? Really? Did they not expect me to be able to do this? Let me just reload this. I think this is a glitch. Uh, because, like, I should be able to get both of them. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to do that. I, I honestly, I, I lucked out by having this kind of a, a formation on these guys. So, okay, let's just do one, Excellent. not move her. Decrypted a piece of the data, and it looks like Exalt communications were temporarily disrupted by the hack. Now we just need to find the remaining relays. Okay, go over here. She can't hack two in one turn. Uh, yeah, no, she just can't. Alright, well, we're gonna go here, and next turn we're gonna do it, then. I don't have any options here. This is fucking dumb. I... <laughs> I, I was kind of counting on the fact that I'd be able to do this. Okay, we're gonna just train all the guns on that door. Okay. 
Unfortunately, we may have to just sprint there. Uh, there there's some exalt up there. Commander, we've got additional exalt forces moving on the AO. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I know there might be overwatching, but we gotta do it. All right, we've activated them. I, I don't care. That's it, Commander. We've decrypted the last of the data. Now we just need to get our operative to the evac point. Objective oh, we run the fuck updated. away. All right, the idea is we're gonna run all the way here. And <laughs> we're getting the hell out. That's what we're doing. I really don't like this mission. I, as I said, I don't think there's a way to do it other than just fucking safe scoping the shit out of the game. Uh, I wouldn't- I would just skip this on Iron Man, to be honest. Alright, here we have a guy behind us here. Oh, good shots, everybody. Advice for life. I might- I might just nuke that fucking stand right here, because they're- they're not really behind us anymore. Uh, so... What we're gonna do, I think... We're gonna go right back to here. Where's my, uh... Where's my, uh, Rocketeer? Alright, this is what we're gonna do. I'm- I'm- I'm ha I won't lie, I'm kinda half worried about the angles that we're approaching in. Cause they might come from over here, who knows. Cause I don't actually know where they are. Could go like, well, no. Okay, yeah, we're gonna risk it. Alright. Fuck your bus stop. Oh, he's completely dead. Alright. That helps. Alright. Let's see. Uh, we can run and gun this guy. Right beside him. Might actually be a good idea. I mean, it's an assault with a laser rifle, but it still works. Just kill him. Ah, or don't. That's okay with me too. We can also move over here, so... I think we got a grenade somewhere on someone. Maybe not. Come on, hit the 74. Thank you. Alright. So now the engineer is going to go as far as she fucking can. Fortunately, this cover is now blown up. But next turn, she'll be able to go in there. So fuck that noise. We are out. Yeah, there's some exalts over there. Okay, so the, yeah, they just activated, so it's okay. Alright. I can't believe how unbelievably lucky this is, but I can I can pull everybody out. Commander, the operative has safely reached the extraction point with the recovered data. We can either stick around and eliminate any remaining hostiles, or move to the evac point and return to HQ. Guess what my answer is. Objective <laughs> it took like four times to basically get this kind of a, a situation where I could actually get the fuck out. Oh, oh, well, let's end our turn. Extract units. Exalt's killed. Terrible. Oh, dude, I don't need you judging me, game. These- these missions are just... I don't know. Especially that one. That one's the worst one because you can only get four people. You're meant to basically have a mobile squad. I think I haven't leveled up enough mobile people to do that. I should have at least one gunner that does, like, maybe not the LMGs, you know? Anything to chance, and it paid off. Excellent work, Commander. <laughs> I apparently got two- three promotions out of that. Good job. You're running and gunning. That's- that really saved us. Alright, so we got, uh, for our scout, we got Battle Scanner, Flush, or Lone Wolf. And I'm gonna take that. I'm sorry if you're disappointed with the fact I didn't really do that mi mission for real, but you're really not supposed to. You're just supposed to fuck off and and get out there as soon as possible. But it's, it's really a jerk move, like what it does sometimes. I the game was that that mission was not fun. Uh, we have hit and run, which is the first standard shot of each turn against a uh, uncovered or flanked target. Does not cost an action. Uh, does not work against flying units, and cannot be used if uh, running gun is activated. So, it's interesting. Uh, so it's basically if I blow up their cover, I get a free shot against them. So it's basically like two shots. Close Encounters is essentially, um... 
Uh, any first shot made within four tiles of a target doesn't cost an action, but I can't combine it with a running gun, so... Uh, that's... You know, it's okay. Um, this one isn't that bad, actually, uh, when you think about it. Because uh, it's basically like... Well... Uh, like, if let's say let's say that there's um, uh, chrysalids and they come right up to us. I get free shots on them, basically. That's really nice, but I also get free shots with close combat specialists, so there's that. And then there's rapid fire, which each shot carries a negative 15 per... Uh, well, I take two shots and every, each shot takes a negative 15, which is... This is the best thing. This is basically my... Well, it's maybe not the best thing. Close encounters comes close, but... I want a run and gun and then rapid fire, which is like two shots at once, which is really nice. For my Rocketeer, this one's actually going to be built as a fire in the hole, which means really, really accurate rockets. And then that's it. We got a lot of money. And Exalt Intelligence. The intel we recovered was enough to take down the rest of Exalt's cell. Unfortunately, it looks like this was just a small part of their wider reaching clandestine operation. We did manage to find some clues as to the location of Exalt's headquarters, though. If we can track down more of their cells and collect additional intel, We'll be able to narrow down the possibilities and take out Exalt once and for all. Because of the fact that mission was so short, I'm going to discontinue. Uh, we're going to do another mission. Uh, well, you probably already realize this by the fact that the video is so long. So I'm going to also make that for making an extra uh, workshop there. We have the council report coming up soon. Actually, wait, did I get any... Since the complexities of our latest research projects are overwhelming the current staff. I hope you'll consider seeking out additional scientists to bolster the team. No. Alright, we got our laser shadow ray there. Uh, they went four sectoid corpses, for a scientist. I could. I mean, there's not really any reason I shouldn't. I mean, I think I want to keep at least ten on hand, but yeah, we'll take a scientist. Which gives I us 19. Your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Especially because of that. That's the main reason I wanted to do it. Uh, Illyrium for two engineers? Yes, definitely. Not really using Illyrium right now. Excavation the new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. So much to do laboratories and workshops got now. Like 10 more each, so... It'll be a while before I can make another one. Uh, which means, I think now is the time to get our officer barracks. Uh, so let's see the gray market. What can we sell? Oh, well, we have a ton of Thin Man corpses. Just sell the, the couple of them. Because I wouldn't mind getting an extra teammate on, on the squads. So officer training school. We're going to put it here. So the, the plan is basically, this block is all for satellite links. Even the fission generator is going to go at some point. Uh, this block is probably for power and for other miscellaneous buildings. And then this is just going to be for the... Temporarily for now. Uh, maybe I'll bulldoze some of this shit here a little bit later. Who knows? I work in mysterious ways. But I really want to get started on it. Fuck the Thin Man corpses. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Carry on. All right. Remember, we will be watching. Another exalt mission. Motherfuck. I really, I really should bring that it, it out. Maybe it will won't be as bad later. But we're gonna bring uh, Halo in along. And you know what? We're gonna have a little bit more stuff than than we had last time. Mostly that we're gonna have. Um, well, we already have the laser pistol. He's got the ability to shoot really far. He's got. He's also gonna have alloy plating, and I. I don't know. Maybe I'll give him a grenade to blow up cover. It. It. I. Half of me thinks I shouldn't do this, but. I think maybe uh, I'm gonna try and play it and just like because we did do like we did do the last one it just took a couple of attempts you tell the men we can't have them bringing back alien body parts as souvenirs it's a breach of protocol oh, don't don't be such a buzzkill whoops no, I don't want the black guy I want to uh, uh, halo in to go on a mission going deep into enemy territory I don't know what else to give him really though but the alloy plating is what he needs to have because this is the plus two extra health you remember me building those right I hope you did this is why I built two of them by the way yeah, there's really nothing else. HE grenade will do. So. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Nigeria. 
I I don't know. If you guys have advice for me, I'm I'm willing to hear it on on those missions. Like maybe just skip them or something. Or what do other people do? I don't even know. Because those are those get ridiculously hard. I I this is why I'm not iron manning this game because it's just like can you imagine that? Hey, what's this thing? So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. It's weed. Alright. So, uh, what am I gonna go for? Definitely fucking Max. It's, it's basically like shifts in human format. Neat. Okay, so we got genetics lab available for construction. Acquiring more melt should be a top priority. So we can now make that guy. Um, wow, we just really... I don't know, should I be doing autopsies now? This is, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> I, I just, I, I can't build what I actually want to, so... I guess we're gonna do xenobiology at some uh, or neurobiology or whatever at some point. To support the research team, Commander, I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Yeah, we're not building a stupid genetics lab. I think now. That seems like a really bad idea at this point. All right, keep scanning. Founders up. Yeah, but an engineer. This shit's gonna really help. I really need some pistol upgrades. It's not the prettiest, but some of our more interesting projects will certainly benefit from the adjustments made down here. Scope upgrade. This will increase critical shots. Definitely should probably get that. That's a lot of weapon fragments that it requires. Um, so let's see. We can get aircraft boosters. We can bear, build some one-time boosters for uh, some things. Mag pistols. I don't know what mag pistols do. Um, I don't know. Let me look this shit up. All right, let me give you a rough overview of what we got at our disposal. We have um, enhanced ballistics, which unlocks some new ammo types for the shiv and for our infantry. And the infantry can basically do one more damage with, I think, um, ballistic weapons. And then you, uh, then the uranium rounds, which is something else that it makes, is something that adds one damage to the shivs and the mechs. Uh, that's just no. This will, uh, the mag pistols will basically increase the crit critical hit chance by 10%. Sure. Alright, how many weapon fragments do we have? Doesn't actually fucking tell me. Uh, cause that's important to know. Yeah, like, a lot. So, we'll be okay. Um, so we're definitely gonna do the mag pistol upgrade here, just for the, the sake of, uh, it's simple. Uh, the scope upgrade will give a, uh, confer a plus 10% bonus, I think, to critical shots with the scope, so definitely, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, doesn't cost that much either. Shiv suppression allows the shivs to suppress. Um, that's a maybe. And I have a bit of spare money, I suppose. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, it'll make the shivs a lot more useful. Uh, alien metallurgy or whatever, this is, um... Uh, just gonna unlock more alien alloys from salvage teams when they come in and scoop things up. Proof salvage will give more, what does it say here? Weapon fragments. So, if you invest the resources early, I guess you get a lot more later. Uh, it requires a lot of alloys though. New combat system. This is a nice one, but we can't make this. Uh, the, mostly because there's a lot of things for our gunner to use, which is really nice. 
that will make them even more of a powerhouse. Um, I'd like that, uh, but we have to unlock stuff for that. Alien boosters, uh, we can unlock uh, basically the ability to build boosters, which uh, they can stay in combat longer, but that's not necessary for me right now. And security training weapons is basically uh, uh, XCOM HQ will use the laser rifles uh, if we're in the worst case scenario for an attack. To the foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project queue in engineering. So, um, yeah, I got whatever I thought was kind of necessary there. And our officer training school's up now. So that, that, I got this way too early the last time I played this. And now I, I think I got it at a good time. Officer training school online. So what we're going to do here is, now we have a bunch of projects here. Uh, and we don't have them enough money, but actually it just that doesn't require a lot of money, so let's just sell one thing somewhere. Oh no, flutter corpse. Whatever will we do? All right. Um, where is the office training school? So we have a couple of options here. Uh, we have squad size things. Uh, the, one, they require like a lot more upgrades for ranks to basically unlock the, the another one, but we can get one here. So we can now basically bring along so have six people, seven people. That's kind of nice. Um, this will eventually make us go up to eight. Uh, then we have tactical officers here, which we're not going to get right now, but basically you can make someone a commanding officer and they can get certain buffs when they're on your squad. Uh, there's a certain amount of perks here. And that's all you get. Uh, you don't get the thing anymore where you get to upgrade squaddies to the next rank. Uh, nope, can't do it. Now you can see our total ranks here, so we can see how long we, we can do. Uh, how long it'll take to do stuff. Um, we can probably get company officers now, but to me, this is not as important to me right now. Uh, especially since, since I'm kind of low on the money now. So, let's just keep going. They want meld for engineers. Engineers are nice, not gonna lie. But meld is nice too. We'll take the engineers. Just because things are gonna build faster then. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Oh, there we go. We got, a. Uh, India is complaining about something, uh, and I don't think I've done a mission yet, so I guess we'll do that now. Uh, so let me go figure out who's coming along. Alright, this time XCOM is not fucking around. Um, so, I'm trying out a, still a little bit of interesting things here that you guys may or may not like. Uh, we have our first heater pistol uh, with our uh, good friend uh, Mungo Bungo. Uh, our medic, Foxhound, uh, well, nothing really interesting to say about him, but I'll give him a laser pistol. Actually, no, that should go to... Sorry, I, I just occurred to me I did this. Uh, should go to this guy. Alright, we only have two laser pistols because one's with our operative. Um, so, basically at this point, I don't have a lot of... Well, okay, I have a lot of rookies, but still, I have a lot of people at shitty levels, basically, and I should now be actually intensely focusing upon... Like, I'm basically not losing soldiers at the same rate that I'm uh, upgrading rookies. I'm doing it, I'm upgrading rookies way too fucking fast. Uh, and especially since a lot of the people I lose are relatively low value, no offense if you died. Uh, but yeah, so that's how it's kind of working right now. So, my plan at this point is mostly to get some levels on people like my sniper. Because, uh, you know those exalt missions? Those, I really need the fucking bonuses. So I think I need, like, a really good core team of, like, uh, four to always be ready to do these really tough missions and to be like as high of a level as I can get them And the rest of the slots will just be basically reserved for whatever um, So we have our gunner Libby mostly because Dorwal is around Well, you know what? I'm actually gonna bring Dorwal around because Dorwal is really close to getting his next level to be honest Dorwal's not that far ahead. So let me go give you Dorwal the thing. Libby, sorry Um we got our scout. Scout's gonna actually use a rifle, not a shotgun, because the rifles I have a lot of now, so there's no point in me not having those. Uh, Rocketeer is actually running around now with the laser shadow array, which does uh, 3 to 5 damage, but more more mobility, basically, which is good, I think, for uh, bringing those rockets up when, when I need them. Uh, and I think that was building this Rocketeer for damage, so that, that'll be good. Um, that's basically all this. The sniper is pretty much sniper. We got the new heater on her, and... Uh, uh, infantry is definitely still the core of my team. And we got 69th bullet. Welcome to the team. And you got your own, your own laser. So we basically have enough of laser rifles to spread around except for our sniper Mongo Bongo. So let's go. XCOM, ho! Strike one. Prepare for landing. 
I've noticed that we haven't had a terror the mission yet. Engagement for this mission will be in India. We had our first exalt mission, but not our first the terror mission. The are continuing to target civilians for abduction in several major cities across the globe. We have to get down there and deploy as soon as possible. Honestly, my feeling with that exalt mission was that it came way too fucking early. Um, I, I thought it'd be like a couple months before I could get the, my operative back, but that was like the second mission I did, like right after, literally. So. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. All right. Well, let's see. Where's my gunner? Gunner's gonna move up here. That's what we're looking for. What? What are we looking for? Oh, the meld. Well, I'm I'm more inclined to actually go after that. Believe it or not. All right. Well, we're 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 playing a sped up uh, version of this game just because uh, we're waiting to basically the melds. Moving to position. Position confirmed. We're, we're moving around. Okay. I figure. Uh, and. Uh, you should hunker. Oh, I kind of changed the camera angle on you, sorry. Oh, no, that was the UI, sorry. I'm being scrubbed. Alright. Uh, we have a couple of options here. Maybe we can kill them all in one turn. I killed him. Oh, you can definitely get the one in the back there. Well, we're not going to get the meld, I think, this turn. Uh, but we can definitely get the next turn. I'm worried about the flanks there. What do we have that speedy that can get up there? Really nobody, to be honest. That's what this guy is for. We could rocket them too. I mean, we have the rockets. Hmm. These are the tough calls we have to make. Okay, we're definitely moving this guy over here. And the rookie's gonna come with him. And I think... The rocket chair, I don't want to move too far up into some ridiculous position. Maybe maybe over there, actually. But she's not particularly someone who dealt with more damage as we're up front, but let's try it. I know it was a bit of a risk. There's, there's fucking the chance that there's like another group that we didn't see yet. And Medic should probably go over here. So the idea is we're going to just cover this guy. And then bring him, I guess, over to as far as we can here. I mean, this is full cover, but it's meld, but we're going to go there. Oh, let's kill one of these guys with a full crit. Let's do that one. Oh, it wasn't quite a crit. My plan is if they move over there, uh, we'll kill them. I don't like the, the scout's positioning, but I was able to at least move them further away. What is he gonna do over there? Oh, wait, he got behind my rocketeer. Oh, that's fucking great. I misjudged the, the distance. He was just in range of that. Alright, well, I'll consider that lucky. So first of all, the meld. Because we, we, we can trigger that overwatch too. And we'll decide what to do after we get the meld. I kind of need it now, so... Well, I don't need it, but I want it. Why can't you grab the meld? There we go. Just four, really? Well, apparently the better the aliens are doing, the better that resources I will get. Alright. Sniper has a couple shots. So I'll leave the sniper for last. 48 or 56. I'll take this one. We at least have the hollow targeting on him. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's 
This guy might be a tough, tough shot there. But I think if I bring enough people, it might, he might change his mind about coming up. Or I could grenade him. Alright, let's have a look. Yeah, try and hit that one. Good shit. Yeah, I figure if my, uh, I, yeah, I figure if this guy gets him, we can start throwing grenades at the other one. Alright. Well, you're definitely gonna overwatch during your turn. And this is an opportunity, actually, for us to uh, chuck a grenade at this guy. He's at the cabin, like, the cabin part, so we'll do some nice damage there. <laughs> one damage. Oh, let's try and hit this then. Nope. Oh, what else do we got? We got a Rocketeer and this guy. Sure, why not? Holo target. Uh, he had holo targeting too. I could have done that. All right. I really think I should move this person back. Just to make sure she doesn't get hit again. We'll keep her alive. Uh, this guy might get flanked, actually. Well, we have a lot of guys here. And we have sectoids now. That should be okay, though. Probably move that person a bit too far back, though. Now that I think about it. Nice! Who else has Overwatch? Is that everybody? What? Uh, oh, I thought I thought someone else was in Overwatch. I might have been wrong on that. All right, rookie, go get it. Sorry, I've been I've been doing some really sloppy fucking work here. Um, they've been getting like actual flanks up on me, uh, up on me, so I'm kind of upset about that now. I can do better than that. All right, what's the our gunner say? No targets, all right. All right, so here's my plan now. Uh, my medic can come back. The gunner can definitely come back here. Uh, sorry, the, the rocketeer is gonna come back here while the medic goes and heals him. Just to make sure everyone's okay. Come on, get back in the game. So, wait, we, we can actually capitalize upon one of our new abilities here, which is gonna be kind of cool. Um, so, this person has a uh, lock and load, so uh, I haven't made a turn move yet, so I can reload. And then Overwatch right away. Awesome. Love it. Love it to death. All right, let's go move into, I guess, the, the on this side of the truck then. And we're just gonna just let them come into us. I'll figure out, yeah, I knew the crap was on fire, but I can't, I can't get killed by it when I'm back there. I don't know if there's more meld though. Oh, here we go. We got some shots there. There we go. 56. Good shot as always. Oh, we got us 85 there now. Maybe, maybe he can kill him. No, no, you can't. 85%. Are you crazy? I'm gonna move up here. Uh, let's see. Can we get another shot off somewhere? That isn't ridiculous. Uh, well, you know, actually, well, one HP left. That's fine. Uh, let's bring the guns up potentially to bear. Uh, all these people suck at aiming. Who do we have left for shots? Oh, we have a... Well, the AP grenade ain't gonna do much. Well, I could, but... Oh, the sniper can take a shot. Well, 85, whatever. I mean, the other person missed an 85. Oh, lightning does strike three times. Better to overwatch this. Yeah, figured. 
But he's dead. Before he could even take the shot, he's dead. I love that. That's amazing. Infantries are the best. Oh, and you smell the meld over there? Alright. Now let's move up then. Trigger is Overwatch. So where is the meld? Meld's like over there somewhere. I don't know. Alright. I really do fucking love this shit though. Oh, we killed him. Alright, we definitely want to move up with everyone now though. But the question is where do we move up to? That's a nice place. It gives us also an opportunity to reload some weapons too. Copy that. Oh, actually, wait, shit. There might be actually be another, um... I think there was another sectoid potentially there. Oh, no, maybe I killed... I think I killed him, actually. You know, just to be on the safe side, we're, we're gonna just take it up real slow. Despite the fact I want the belt. Oh, I see the belt there. It's right behind the truck. Now we could go right here and start e inching off across there. Uh, actually, yeah, let's let's go do a, a, a beacon. Actually, we have this new ability of ours, the battle scanner. So let's have a look. So we can actually scout there, and so we can't really see anything there, which is nice. So it means I can make some more confident moves. Uh, and I'm also going to move up some people here. Heading out. The gunner also needs to have a move up. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Moving to position. Headed there now. Where's our gunner? Okay, gunner's gonna go. That seems pretty that. good. And we're gonna just keep steadying our weapon with that individual. I've got my eyes on. We're green to go. That battle scanner is real nice. I think we get like two of them or something. It's really fucking great. You hear that? No. Alright. Our scout is gonna continue to go for the Meld Dream. Okay, we can't get it this turn anyway, so we're gonna leave it be. And we're gonna just overwatch here. Rock and roll. I think I said I was gonna increase the speed of this kind of shit. Oh, here we go. They're right here. Luckily, they don't. They don't. They don't know we we have their meld. It's all good. That's what we really came for. All right, let's do the important stuff first. Yeah, for meld. Who, who's our scout that's doing that, actually? Let me go say. Oh, uh, it's you, monster son. You fucking glorious bastard. Alright, we have a 95% chance of the 5% crit. Our medic also has a relatively abysmal hit chance to hit. We can try a precision shot, though. Let's do that. I'd rather not move everybody, if I didn't have to. There we go. Alright, since they're on that side, though... The medic is actually going to do a move. Uh, the medic is going to move basically, um, I think, over Solid here. Copy. And our infantry is going to move up here. It, basically, on. so he can get a shot down there. I'm, on it. Roger, got my eyes on. I'm just going to start overwatching everybody. Potentially, he should have moved as well, but I, I guess it's better to have people covering each other like that. Excellent shot, medic. Alright, he's over here. Wonder if this is the last group we have. Don't really want to go up for him at all. Uh, but I'm afraid of my medic at this point, because it's an easy flank now. Oh, and here we have an overwatch shot. I think they weren't expecting me to be over here. That works out for me. 
Oh, we got a kill with that too, nice. I was only slightly kind of worried about uh, if I'd be able to get the shot off or not. They do kind of know I'm there now, but that's what my scout's here for. Oh, I think they're actually going for him now. When will they learn? Wow. Nice! There we go. That's what Overwatch is for. Commander, the operation was a success. We got all the meld, all the kills, only a Rocketeer got hit. We got some level ups in the meantime as well. I'm quite pleased with that. And we got two level ups. Here we go. Let's see, we got Danger Zone, which increases the area of effect of suppression, rockets, grenade launchers, and proximity mine launchers. So, this would only really affect suppression. Um, so, our suppression would then do an AoE. Uh, Executioner confers 10 aim and 10 critical b bonus uh, against targets below 50% health. Uh, that's, uh, that's okay. Uh, but literally when they're below 50% health, they're about to die. And also there's more defense per enemy in sight. This is a kind of a tough one for me. Because um, to be honest, they're all like equally pretty useful. Because the, they're all situational too. I use suppression a lot on my gunners as well. Um, and I would like to get suppression on this guy. So we're going to do danger zone. We're going to focus him kind of on that path for their wall there. Uh, so here we have our next level here. So we have... Either choice between tactical defense, we're not getting shot at, so it's useless. Ranger, so primary weapons do one additional damage. Okay. And sharpshooter, um, plus 10 critical chance in all situations, plus 10 aim against enemies in full cover. So it's a choice between... Do I want more aim against someone who's in full cover? And more... The crit chance typically cancels itself out most of the time. Uh, it's not bad. But we could also do one more damage. So basically, does the aim and crit bonus supersede the fact that all our weapons will do one more damage. Uh, that's a tough choice. And think about it. Yeah, well, the th aim has to be, they have to be in full cover, so I'm gonna go with Ranger. So, and our 69th bullet got his uh, first upgrade, and so I'll make him into an infantry. Or maybe I won't, because uh, I'm gonna actually check to see what I need, because I keep forgetting. We will be in touch, Commander. Well, the first thing we gotta check, actually, is uh, maybe I should go into something else here. Improved body armor. That sounds really nice. Let's do that. We're gonna switch research pro projects to that immediately. And our soldiers. Let's see what we got. We got assault, 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 infantry, infantry. Uh, so we have a couple of infantry. I guess we can use another infantry. We have a lot of assaults already as it is. Or I could just make them random at this point. At this point, it doesn't really matter to me that much. I'm just gonna have what I don't. I'm gonna make what I don't have. Uh, covert or operative is ready for fucking extraction. Uh, wonderful. All right, we we'll do it in a minute. You will handle this matter with discretion. I'm not confident. Workshops are still coming up, which means after these workshops are done, we can actually get a lot of materials back from this. Um, that's a really nice bonus. Uh, I think one of the things we're actually going to do here, uh, I'm going to excavate here in preparation for another workshop there. And the lab will obviously eventually come up, uh, but 29 scientists, we're, we're a little ways away. Engineers, we're getting closer to, but th these things are nice to have when I, when I have them available. Um, I know I dug a little deep there. It's difficult to basically make space for, for this, but uh, when I go there and actually look at it. But yeah, this is the best we could do. Actually, I think for this one, I want it to be the... No, no, no. Actually, this will be fine. I was thinking the mech lab, because I think that actually confers the bonuses, but that doesn't matter, because I'm never going to tear down these workshops. Because you always benefit from uh, things requiring less resources and things like that. Uh, and we got like seven days left on the, the neurobiology, but we're not going to bother with that too much right now. And look at this, we constantly have like nothing. I would like another scope though, but uh, we'll wait until the um, we'll wait until the workshops come up. But yeah, what kind of requests do we have, I wonder? Satellite transfer, artifact sales, alien alloys. Yeah, I don't think so. Insectoid corpses. No. Alright, well that's it. So remember, we will be watching.